a wild charge and he lives because he's just that guy because he's just that guy <laughs> that that's him new season started so the team that we're running right this team i know what you're thinking man he did really bad last time well if i did bad on ladder last time why did i like get top four at my local with this team hmm hmm but yeah um got top four at my local with this team it goes crazy let's see what we can do hey guys Brian Hands here. Seeing as Marcos can't do the intro properly, I am here to remind you to like the video and subscribe to the Moxie Boosted YouTube channel. If you would like to support the channel further, consider subscribing to the Patreon or clicking the join button below this video. Doing so will grant you access to bonus channel content and your name will be shown at the end of each video. Anyway, I have to return to living hits and doing the dishes. Goodbye for now. Okay, this is kind of what I wanted to face. A lot of physical attackers, right? A lot of physical attackers, and none of them, none of them like the like the Tauros matchup. Let's go Tornadus as well. Lando too. Actually, we definitely want the Ogre Pond. Is my last one going to be Flutter or Lando? I'm kind of leaning towards Flutter, just because Flutter can endgame a lot of stuff, but Lando's also just like, you know, Lando. And Terra Dragon on the Tauros can go crazy here. I'm gonna go Lando, um, just because it hits like half the team for super effective. Uh, and if I go Flutter, I'm dealing with two rock types under Sandstorm. Like I was gonna say, Flutter technically can deal with like Arcanine pretty okay. Like it, it's it's not like in flavor for either of them, but um, with the Sand up, it, it would be in favor for Arcanine there. Oh yeah, that is, that is bright Powder Chomp. All right, we get the initial Intimidate off. Um, I want to hold on to my Tauros. Actually, let's go Ogre Pond here on the Surging Strikes, and I'll just Tailwind up. They go for the Stomping, that's fine. Surging into the Torn, we should always live that. Also note that they're not Scarf Torn, which is really good info. I want to take a KO. I really want to take a KO. <laughs> I, I want to take this KO so bad. Also, if I were them, I don't see a point in protecting the Garchomp here. I think Garchomp's not in the worst spot, but it's it's about to be in a really bad spot instantly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I You know, if we don't one-shot this Garchomp, I'd be really surprised. Shia Kazing. God, I love Ogre Pond. I don't even know if the crit mattered. I really don't. That's the beauty of Ogre Pond. Did the crit matter? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the truth is the crit never matters with Ogre Pond. It just always KOs. That's just how it works. Um, I should probably focus down the Urshifu here. He's going to Aqua Jet. I'm going to go Lando. Nah, maybe I should have gone with the, uh, maybe I should have gone with the, um, the Tauros. It would, it would have taken the, the, rake, the make it rain better if they go for it. Nice. Pick up to full. Go for T-Bolt. They're specs. That is specs. Also, that means you're Terra Steel. You're getting Ivy Cudgeled. <laughs> Get that out of here. No, you're getting Ivy Cudgeled, buddy. <laughs> I thought they'd be Terra Dragon or something. No, no, you're specs. Give me that. Don't be T-Tar. Ah, oh, it's T-Tar. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This will still do a lot, and I got a U-turn off on T-Tar, so we'll take it. Can I crit? That'd be, that'd be so hot. No crit. Thunderbolt, we live. God, I love Ogre Pond. You're so stupid, man. You're such a stupid Pokemon. Most likely that they can't protect the Golden Go or the Tyranitar here. I can, like, always Ivy Cudgel. Raging Bull here. Depends what the Terra is on this, uh, on this T-Tar. Terra Psychic. Yeah, that's what I thought it'd be. It just won a tournament, so. This might still KO, though. It's, it's Ogre Pond, Ivy Cudgel. He's just faster. He's just faster. He's fine. We live. Okay, that's what I needed. All right. Uh, with that in mind, I think we're good if we go Lando here because we'll take the um, we'll take the Aqua Jet, and Urshifu will drop to Sand. So I'm gonna U-turn and Raging Bull, and also Tyranitar might drop to Sand. <laughs> Not this turn, but like in a turn, you know. And I think they want to Aqua Jet this uh. I think they want to Aqua Jet my Lando. Oh, they go for the Tauros. Okay. All right. Uh, that might be Sand Chip range. This is gonna be a close one. 
Everyone take sand chip right now. One, two. All right, uh, he's at minus two. I'm definitely not in range of Aqua Jet. Behold, Terra Blast. That'll show him. Is it really theory crafting when you surround one Mon with S tier Metamons? Going by that logic, you can switch out that one for essentially any other Pokemon. Uh, so Pokemon is a game where a lot of the skill comes from how you play the game. You can have a full team of like six of the best Pokemon in the format and still play like absolute garbage. That is a skill. You can you need to be able to play well. The other skill and a lot of people don't understand this, is team building. That is part of the game. If you if you cannot distinguish a good team from a bad team, then it's it's not going to work. Like that, it means that you are bad at the game, right? So if that's the case, right? When you theory craft, the safest way to build a team is to take an existing archetype, right? And then swap out a Pokemon. In this case, the Pokemon that you could argue I swapped out was a fire type. It could be a Chiyu, it could be a... Arcanine, uh, probably a Hisuian Arcanine is the closest parallel to my Tauros, right? The Tauros does something very interesting that Arcanine cannot do. Tauros resists Sucker Punch from King Gambit while also intimidating it and granting it plus one. I have a Mirror Herb on my Tauros. My Tauros copies the Defiant Boost from the King Gambit after the Intimidate. He gets plus one, I get plus two. An Arcanine in this situation is under threat of being KO'd by plus one Terra Dark Sucker Punch from the King Gambit. The Tauros, on the other hand, is not. Beyond that, the Tauros is able to burn opposing Urshifu because its speed stat is actually much higher than Arcanine. And by much, I mean Hisuian Arcanine is 90, I'm 97, or I'm, I'm 100, so I can actually outspeed Tauros. So effectively, it is theory crafting. It is smart theory crafting, and it is a slow theory craft because that's the way that you should learn to play Pokemon. You need to understand what exists, what's good, and then you need to go outside the box and think, here's what's good into what's good. And that's what I have done here with this Tauros team. Yeah, I I'm trying to I'm trying to cook. I'm not trying to burn down the kitchen. You feel me? Okay, King Gambit goes like Insano style here, but only if we play our cards right. We have to be really careful with that guy over there, the Chiyu. But I feel like uh, <laughs> we have a little friend named uh, Ogrepan Wellspring that has a word to have with that Chiyu. And uh, should I bring the Tauros here? I think I might just go with Scarf Lando. Scarf Lando seems really good. What does the Dread Plate do? Scares them. So hear me out. Protect right here. Get in the Landorus, right? Wait, you live in Toronto? No, I'm from Chicago. Please be choice specs or something dumb like that. Just kidding. Don't be choice specs. I don't want make it rain. All right, we're going to judge by this damage if it's choice specs or not. If it's above 60%, that's specs. Ouch! <laughs> Just Tom and Jerry freaking ouch that's how that felt all right uh let me get in my ogre pond and i'm gonna go for the swiftest u-turn of my life on this guy ogre pond wellspring let's go this is gonna hurt that's gonna sting hard yeah above 50 percent. i'll take it i'll take it probably gonna drain punch me don't really care it's at minus one we'll be fine i'm gonna go into my tornadus Okay, not as youch as I expected. Ooh, I have an opportunity to do something really funny. I think I'm just going to go for another Horn Leech. I mean, Horn Leech from this range should KO the Ogre Pond, but I'm concerned about damage from it going for Spiky Shield, which I think it's going to go for Spiky Shield. So I'm going to go crazy mode. Check this out. There's no way they follow me here. They should always Spiky Shield. All right, Spiky Shield, you stupid little water ogre. Oh, what? Okay, I don't, I, I, I heavily disagree with that play. I don't know what they expected there. Like the horn leech was free. I thought they would spiky shield. I don't, I don't know what they thought was going to happen. Okay, well, if they follow me, so be it, I guess. Let me just bleak win. I, I don't know what they thought was going to happen there. Okay, now they do it. I could have just gone for it, but it's fine. This should do a decent amount. I get some health back. All right. Wild charge. Let's go into my Landorus. The U-turn is basically free. I should always be able to uh, U-turn and go for the uh, 
KO on this guy. Alright, let's get in King Gambit here. Rain is up, so I don't really care about Flare Blitz too much. Because they Horn Leech me, you get way too much back. Yeah, that, that one turn with the follow me was really bad. That was a really bad turn for me. Check this out. This is where we bring it back. So there's a rule with King Gambit. This happened like eight times at the at the event I played the other weekend. When you're in a bad position, the opponent never expects you just to swords dance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Also, we confirmed that our Ogre Pond's faster, which is really nice. Nice. Okay. Lose the Landorus, but that's not that bad um, because Katao should one shot. Also, we know that it's choice specs on the um, on the Golden Go. So here I can do this. I'm gonna go for the spiky shield here and the Rock Katao, just in case they want to follow me, which I think they will for the Sucker Punch. Nope. Okay. Oh, I uh, have a choice specs now. So, the bright side is, the bright side here is, um, I don't think that that matters. Oh, it might matter now. Okay. Because I can't Sucker Punch. Or actually, no, I can still, yeah, 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 yeah. I locked myself into Sucker Punch here. I think that's how I went. Here, I can Horn Leech to KO, and I think I lock Sucker. Oh no, I can only click a Tau. I forget how that mechanic works, yeah. So, I mean, we definitely lose. We definitely lose because we can't click Sucker Punch now. I don't know, maybe they'll fumble hard and click Rock Slide. They're definitely just gonna Flare Blitz though. Yeah, with Rain gone, I always lose. All right, that's fine. So, literally the exact same team. I actually, I don't know if the other team had an Urshifu. I get a lot of value out of Tauros lead here. I think I do this. It's gonna go hard Ogre Pond here. He'll end up. Yeah, I'm mostly just expecting like Rock Slide, which we should live at minus one, even with Choice Band. And I dodge on Tornadoes, that'd be huge. Nice. Okay, so I'd like just to get rid of the tornado. So uh, I'm gonna go for this. Is the Iron Hands? All right, peep this one. There's no tornadoes on Earth that lives this hit. Obviously, they're gonna land their Bleak Wind Storm though, because I just set up the rain. But we should eat it. Oh, they. I mean, they're slow. Okay, cool. No damage for me this turn. Thank you. Watch, it's gonna be Rocky Helmet. Nah, okay, we're good. Let it go. All right, there's the Arcanine. Luckily, Ivy Cudgel has a high crit chance, and I'm just that guy. I'm just that guy. The Tauros. Also, I'm fairly certain they're gonna Terra here. Because you, I mean, they might just protect this turn, but next turn, Terra's a pretty safe bet. Nope, they're gonna Terra. Uh, definitely gonna be Terra on the um, Arcanine, because, you know, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Nice little spiky shield here. Go ahead and fake out. Oh, well, not that guy. Come on, man. Come on. All right. This is minus one. Should eat it pretty well because I'm Tauros. Because I, like I said, I'm just that guy. All right. Um, Ogre Pond also just kind of eats this now, so I could. Mm, let's uh, more or less sack the Tornadus here in exchange for this epic burn. Because they don't have they don't have the option to Tailwind anymore. So like late game, I can just Tailwind again. Also, there's a really high chance that my Tauros is just faster than this Arcanine. Actually, it's it's guaranteed. I'm, I'm always faster than Arcanine. Oh, they withdraw. Okay. Ogre Pond. I'll take it, man. The burn on that guy's huge. Burn on him is actually huge for me. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. My Tailwind is gone. Their Tailwind is gone. The only difference is um, mine's coming back. <laughs> That's the big difference here. Let me go for this will o -Wisp and the Iron Hands. As they withdraw the Iron Hands. Yeah, burning that... Um, Burning that Arcanine is my higher priority, so regardless of the switch, I'm happy with this as long as I connect. Sick. 
As I miss, that's fine. Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. Actually, they could follow me here. Check this out. See, if I were them, I would follow me here. Oh, follow me. Okay. Oh, I'm totally about to dodge this because I'm just that guy. No? Okay. Whatever. Didn't care. Didn't need it. Stupid, stupid game anyways. Dumb game, actually. Don't even like this game. So now I'm uh, free to burn that guy. And also send in my Flutter Man. And I can just spam like Dazzling Gleam and there's not really a drawback. Actually, this is also just like a free turn. Let's just get rid of it. Yeah, there's not, there's not plenty of Dazzling Gleam. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just get rid of it. All right. He's got that bull in him. The Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's already burned. Who cares? Let's get in my Ogre Pond. Go for this burn. Really wrap up this game. Probably just gonna go for like fake out Ivy Cudgel, but if they end up going for a Heavy Slam, this is a good option too. Is it weird that I'm not a fan of VGC because of lack of creativity? Rather than play Smog on standard OU to PU. However, I like watching VGC though. My brother, I am playing a Tauros. Also, VGC this season has like a ton of creativity. I just think a lot of people don't know where to look to like find examples, you know? All right, my Tailwind's gone. Check this out. Spiky Shield. Go for this close combat. Why didn't you just Bleak Wind Storm in the rain when there were two grass types in the field? Um, because on that turn, I was expecting them to go for follow me on my burn. Um, and I wanted to win with the burn because at this point I knew I was gonna win the match and I wanted to do it in style. In a way that showed off the Tauros. <laughs> it was it was literally a, a style point thing. I really like Ogre Pond Wellspring. I think it's like my favorite, like new Pokemon in the format. No, he's not, okay. It's Yonathan. So I really, really, really like the King Gambit and and uh and Tauros lead here. I think it actually goes kinda crazy. I'm gonna bring a second Intimidator, as well as the boy, or the girl. Shout out Ogre Pond. Iron Hands Chen Pao, I could not have asked for a better lead. So um, I'm immediately gonna go for the burn on the Iron Hands because I'm more concerned with that boy over there. And I'll uh, get in my Lando, double Intimidate, and a burn. And the fun, th the fun part about running um, Will-O-Wisp with a Landorus on your team as well, is that they have to choose whether they get hit super effective by ground moves or if they get burnt. You know, also they can go Terra Grass or and also, they're already getting hit super effectively because they're Electro-type. But, but you see my point, right? <laughs> you see my point, why it's kind of sick. With the DLC release announced, um, are there any returning Pokemon you're excited to see? Yeah, uh, Incineroar. I love that dude. Pathetic. Okay, Will-O-Wisp. I'll U-turn right back out. As they withdraw. Ogre Pond? No! Kidding. It's fine. Oh yeah, baby. That's the good damage. Let's get in the Gambit. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna go Landorus here. I think that Sucker Punch KOs without needing a Terra. Okay, no need. All right, don't Terra yet because I'm Mirror Herb and it'd be really cool if I could get that off. God, King Gambit's broken, oh my God. All right, I'm gonna go for this U-turn on the Ogre Pond and get right back in my Tauros. The way that I just lived that, that was insane. Obviously, there was a chance to crit. We just ignore it, though. Ivy Cudgel. It's going to do six. Watch this. Pathetic. Okay. Uh, let me go for the U-turn on the Ogre and a Will-O-Wisp onto Iron Hands. Isn't Mirror Herb kind of counterintuitive with Intimidate? No, you don't You don't um, care about any drops that they have. You copy the boost itself. So, like, let's say they're at minus six attack and then get plus two. You just care about the plus two. Oh, I'm getting that Chen Pao, aren't I? Fluttermane, I'll take it. Are they Terra Fire? Is this where we find out? Terra Water. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Decent damage. Definitely within Terra Dark Sucker Punch range. I can, like, always get my Ogre Pond in here. Connect my burn, awesome. I'm assuming they're just gonna like drain punch me or something. Heavy slam, even better. <laughs> even better. Okay. Uh, yeah, they officially have no Ivy Cudgel switch ins. 
So we're just going to go for it. There's nothing in the back that eats this. I can just protect here. Now they might wild charge, but it shouldn't do too much. All right, and they don't protect the flutter too. That's awesome. A dazzling gleam. Shouldn't do much either. That's probably specs damage. But we got rid of this guy. That's our that's our biggest issue right there. Especially now that uh the iron hands is burned. That was our biggest issue. Wild charge. Ooh, bold. A bold call. A bold call. If I have ever seen one. Let's go right back into Tauros, or not Tauros, into our um, Landorus, and uh, go for the Raging Bull here. We go for the Protect, should be fine. Probably just a Wild Charge. Yep. We are, we are just stuffing this dude's offense. He, he just does not get to play the game. All right, let's go for this U-turn. That's minus one. It'll never KO us with Sucker Punch. I'll also go for the Raging Bull here in case the Ogre Palm wants to come in. I'll get that KO. Nice. U-turn snags it. And I didn't go for the close combat here because I didn't want them to get more... Um, I didn't want them to get too much health from uh, Drain Punch if they went for it into the Oros. So... That being said, um, King Gambit? Yeah, King Gambit. Drain Punch. Oh, my King Gambit, he lives anyways because he's just that guy. <laughs> King Gambit literally like, oh, good heavens. Oh, great heavens. Go right back into Landorus. Go for this protect on their spiky shield. It's a revolving door of Pokemon. Woodhammer. Ow. So I could have sucker punched is what you're telling me right now. That's what you're telling me right now? Hmm? That's what you're that's what you're getting at? Alright. Let's send in the King Gambit. Now watch this fire read. Watch this fire read, dude. No one's ever made a read this fire. I'm just gonna sucker punch, actually. <laughs> I should probably just sucker punch. Oh good heavens! <laughs> A wild charge and he lives because he's just that guy because he's just that guy <laughs> that that's him <laughs> what is this king gambit doing hold on close combat that's fine i got the close combat damage that's all i needed all right getting the ogre pawn all right let me go for the spiky shield and the uh raging bull that should do it from this range double that's fine that's perfectly fine. Yeah, no, even turn. Perfectly fine with that exchange. This uh, <laughs> this Iron Hands is experiencing like death by a thousand needles. All right, let's just go for the Horn Leech. Let's get him out of there. Uh, that should be Raging Bull range, right? Eh, to be safe, we'll double. Just in case something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, it's Raging Bull range. He has to crit to win. Which there's just no way. There's simply no way. I've already decided. I've already decided for my opponent that they will not be critting this game. Check this out. Uh, why don't you take, just just take a little bit more damage from me, buddy? Just just a little more. Just a little more till I feel comfortable clicking close combat into you, buddy. Just 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 a little bit more time. All right, buddy. Any last words? <laughs> He really is just that guy. We did it, Ultra Ball tier, guys. Guys, we did it. We did it. Oh, my God. Thank you. Alchemist. Oh, this is a streamer on Twitch, so I can't raid them, but... Hi, Alchemist. I know you. You're going to lose. All right. Um, Tauros lead goes insano. Goes insano style, in fact. Uh, I also love the King Gambit here. Oh, he is just my best friend. Um, we'll also bring the Flood of Mane. And I think I want Tornadus in the back. I don't know if I want to lead off with him. Maybe I can lead off with him. Maybe I can't. Yeah, we'll, we'll lead off with the we'll lead off with the Tornadus. It just feels right, you know. And then Flutter Gambit. Yeah, that's that's the that's the recipe. 
Dragonite the Royale fan. More like Dragonite the burnt stupid idiot. Because I'm going to burn him, stupid idiot. Uh, Let me Tailwind here and go for the burn. Not even going to think about it. Don't care. Tailwind up. Let's see if I'm faster than that. I might be able to go for a, um, a taunt next turn. All right, they're going to go for the Bleak Wind Storm, but they're going to dodge because Taurus is just that guy. Oh, wait, was I right? Tornadoes dodges. Taurus can totally... No, okay. Um, So the good news is this is the world's freest swords dance ever. There has never been a more free swords dance in my life because Dragonite's burned. It's usually Choice Banded, so it's not doing much damage. It might not be Choice Banded this time around, but I'm not going to worry. And if they go for a Bleak Wind Storm, what, what, what good's that going to do? You know? Let's go ahead and swords dance here and go for our own Bleak Wind. SD up. And yeah, if it is if it isn't choice band, which I think it is. If it's oh that was a crit too. Dang it. Okay. Tailwind. Doesn't matter. I no longer care about speed. I'm just clicking sucker punch. Speed is now entirely an optional concept to me. Except for that, I like that. The Katao is basically free. And if I were them, I would never go for a bleak wind storm into a uh, King Gambit at plus two. I would actually go hard into Chen Pao, which is why I'm going to go Fluttermane here and just go for this Katao. The Kachow Cleave. Kachow. If they do go for that Bleak Wind, though, if they do go for that Bleak Wind, there's a chance Fluttermane dodges. I keep my Tornadus, and also they're stinky. What's the difference between Dark Glasses and Black Plate for King Gambit? I believe what you're thinking is, what's the difference between Black Glasses and Dread Plate? Let me tell you the differences. Glasses are for nerds, and my King Gambit can press four plates on the bench, so why couldn't he carry one on his back during a battle? That's the difference. You got it? Rain dance. No. Get rid of him. All right. Um. I'm gonna dazzling gleam, just raw dazzling gleam, and sucker punch. Actually, I, I should just kachow in case they want to sucker punch my flutter. They send in their flutter. Ice Spinner, we're, ten, uh, we're EV to live that unless you're adamant. Which they are not. Oh no, he's Focus Sash. What am I going to do? How am I ever going to win the Kachow? Alright, um, in case you don't know, every Flutter main ever is always uh, Choice Specs forever until I say they're not. So Sucker Punch is free here. Also Dazzling Gleam. Also they smell. Yep. Good game. Well played. Awesome. Awesome sauce, even? Question mark? There's no more time. Alright, you guys want this as a team? You'll get it as a team. You'll get it as a team. Let me get rid of some old teams. No one cares about Monkey Door anymore. Get rid of that team. That team sucked. Oh my god. Okay, here's the team. Um... Despite my better judgment, it's it's better for content if I make this team public. So the team is public now. Here you go. Here's the rental code. Um, yeah, so the like the full info for this team is going to be in the description down below if you want to check it out. Um, if you want extra content, definitely check out my Patreon or become a YouTube channel member, which you can do by clicking the join button. It also supports the stream. And I'm a full-time YouTuber now, so you guys should totally do that. It helps me out a lot. Really appreciate it. But yeah, um... Yeah, this team is sicko mode. I enjoy it quite a bit. I think it's very good. Um, please do not steal. And by that, I mean use it all over the ladder. But yeah, thank you. And let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. If you're watching the YouTube video, thanks for watching. Have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.